So we have been hearing from you guys and from other people about some of the common emotions. It is really likely you're having lots of emotions, intense emotions, maybe conflicting emotions. We know thankfully about emotions that they tend to ebb and flow, kind of like waves. I often encourage my clients to remember that big feelings are gonna come. We wanna to try to surf those waves rather than struggle within them and that they will also ebb. But some of the feelings you may have, there's a lot of fear around, fear about getting sick, fear about death, fear about losing people that we love. There's a lot of fears about not being able to protect people we love or our patients. There's fears about not being protected enough. There's also anger, anger at how much our lives have changed, anger at all that we have to face. And there's sadness and there's grief. What I'm noticing about grief, indeed, many of us will know people who uh, struggle or die. Much of the grief right now people are having is an anticipated grief. Our minds, our human brains, our predictor machines, they have a built-in negativity bias to try to keep us safe. They anticipate things that haven't come yet. So sometimes when these waves of grief are coming, try to observe which ones are about something happening now or which ones are your brain imagining something that might happen, uh, although the chances are greatest that the vast majority of us are gonna get through this. We also are hearing that there is fear of fear. There's fear that you know, people, healthcare workers are afraid for their patients' well-being, their own well-being, their family's well-being, and they're afraid of their physical well-being and their emotional well-being. What are they gonna be exposed to on the front lines? And there's a fear of post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. 